Okay, so we had a request um, to see some things I do from top mount position. Um, one of, honestly, one of my favorite positions, I feel almost 100% that I'm gonna get the submission from mount. And I'll tell you why. I have mount position on Sunny, okay? A couple of things I'm gonna make sure of. Number one is that I find his wrists. I put weight on him. Okay, now, if my weight's on my knees, and my feet, so he can't shrink, number one. And if he bucks his hips, go ahead. It doesn't even move me. Sorry, my phone's ringing, guys. But uh, his hips don't even move me, so I'm constantly moving up on the mount, right? And I'm using my feet against the floor to go with him, sort of, if his hips jump. So I don't get, he doesn't get any movement out of me when he moves his hips, which is pretty crappy for him. Like, they hate that feeling, the feeling of complete um, just domination and absolutely stuck underneath me. So now is my opportunity to separate the limbs from the body in this position. I cannot submit um, Sonny's limbs. I can't break them when they're close to his body. So I have to find a way to get them away from his body. And it's really easy for a mount, to be honest. I'll switch from this mount to this mount a lot. And sometimes from mount I'll switch directly to knee on belly. Okay, this is an e these are easy transitions, so it's not all mount. I'll secure mount, and then maybe I'll have to jump to knee on belly. But what I'm gonna do mostly is this lean. I sort of lean, I'll even put my hand on the mat. See that? I'm still mounted. Sonny cannot shrimp out of this. He is stuck here. Now look, I straighten my arm and I pin to the mat. Sonny, can you get your arm back? No, nope. I can push it further away. <laughs> right, you can push it further away, but once I got his arm down, it's down. Now, if he wants to reach over and be, you know, obviously I got the arm bar or the back, but I don't need to. I can submit him with Americana. I put all my weight, I switch my hands. Elbow goes down, I reach underneath. I want his arm extending. He's gonna extend it. It's all he can do, he can't bring it back. That's perfect. When I get this, I wanna bring wrist over wrist and get the sub. So how do we get his arms away is most important because if he's tight, tight with your arms, don't let me put him down, all right? I can't from here. Look, I'm too square. I'm actually trying to get his arm down from here. It would be me doing this, which is impossible. It's my side delt muscle against him, against his arm. I can't do it. Keep it tight. I cannot do it. So I create this leverage. I'm sort of lean over, create this leverage and get this pinned. Wrist over wrist. And I'll, I'll open up, I'll spread out. He cannot sweep me over. And look, there's my finish. So pinning the arms from mount is really easy to do. And if I'm still not getting the pin, he's real tight. I lean, I still can't get the pin. Fine, swivel knee on belly, now look where I'm at. <laughs> Impossible to stop. This, a lot of times I'll get here, and I'll go, what time is it? And I'll just hold. I'll just hold. Look, Sonny's going to give me up, give up his back or something. But yeah, separating the limbs from the body from mount, I have the most success with that. Do I always get the submission? No. But if I don't get the submission, I'll definitely get his back. The only way to stop it is to give me his back. So hope, hope that answers your question. Yeah, I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>